Hello everyone, June the Serial Hobbyist Girl here. Today I'm going to show you an unboxing of a couple of bags, but before I show you the unboxing, I wanted to say why I'm doing it. This is a company called GG New York, and they are right here in Long Island, and Brooklyn is technically part of Long Island. And the thing is that uh, when I was looking into getting one of their bags, I looked on YouTube to see if I could find anything about them, and there is nothing on YouTube about these bags which is a little strange. Um, they are a new company, but I think that the quality of the bag deserves to be talked about. And uh, this is not a sponsored video, they are not paying me. I bought the bags with my own money. I just want to uh, put them out there so that if anyone is ever looking to buy another bag from Juju New York or their first bag from Juju New York, they can come back here and see what they look like and whether the quality is something that they're willing to pay for. So first I'm going to show you the unboxing which I actually recorded a couple of weeks ago and then at the end of the video I am going to give you a little bit of an up close look at the bags and, and tell you what I think about the quality. So stay tuned! they package the bags which I think is pretty great uh, I'm gonna show you the bags themselves I bought these two bags during the friends and family sale so they were 20% 20 25% off I believe from the original price and uh, they are like I said they're locally made right here in Long Island they are craftsman made they are made by hand uh, so I think that if you are one of those people who supports local businesses and I certainly do then uh, you may want to look into getting these bags if you live in New York and even if you don't live in New York it is still a US company uh, I'm, I don't know whether you guys are aware but a lot of the luxury goods that we buy today are not made in the US even when they are US brands uh, so on to the bags this one is our bucket bag and I have already opened it a little bit but this is what it looks like when um, it comes out and it has this lovely shoulder strap that you can just sort of put on um, I don't know if you can see it very well but you can just put it on there and it also has a cross body strap that has multiple um, loops or I should say multiple uh, perforations where you can belt it to accommodate your height I am very short so I always have cross body bags on their last perforation to make it the shortest a little close too close okay so um like i said i'm looking at the stitching and i don't think you can see it on camera because it's so detailed but the stitching is just beautifully done so if you open the bag this one is not a lined bag meaning that the inside of the bag is simply the wrong side of the leather and there is nothing wrong with that this is a beautiful blue um, and uh, it's pebble leather like I said. and the Gigi New York stamp 
uh, it's actually inside. There is not, um, if you if you don't like to show off brands, although I don't think you can walk around with a GG New York bag and people say, oh, that's a GG New York bag, unless they also have one. But it is inside and it is very inconspicuous, if that's what you like. I'm not crazy about logos, so I prefer things that are a little bit understated. And uh, there is a little pocket in here. I don't know if you can see that. And there is a larger zip pocket on the other side. It's right there, I don't know if you can see it. You're gonna have to trust me that it is there. And the thing with these bags is that you can have them personalized. So you can have the company when you order them for I think about $15. They can um, do like the gold foil hot press um, with your initials, so up to three letters. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I believe they do it here on the bag. And so this is the first one. Like I said, great quality. Um, I mean, I'm looking at the stitching and it is absolutely perfect. I don't recall the full price of this bag, but I believe it was close to $400. I'm not sure. If you go to the website, I'm sure you can still find it because this was a recent purchase. And with most luxury bags, you do get a dust bag. This one is rather small, but it fits the bag perfectly. This next bag is the one that actually introduced me to Gigi New York, as it were. I saw this bag on another blogger's um, vlog and I knew that I had to have it. It is called a Hayden Satchel and it is leather but it is um, it has like a, a snake embossing that I really like. It does have gold hardware and again the quality is just stunning. It has a big pocket back there and you open it this way. So the straps are dummy meaning they don't actually buckle in or anything and then you open it and voila I still have a stuff let me get the stuffing out now this bag I do believe is lined but it is lined with more leather it is a very very structured bag you could stand this up and it is not going to flop it has a pocket here and it has one zipper pocket in here and two little pockets here for phones, keys and the like. I am absolutely pleased with the quality of these bags. They are still in the affordable luxury range, but they, I mean, because they are made in small quantities, they are made here locally. Uh, you can, I believe, even tour their factory, I'm not entirely sure. You can only buy them at their boutique, which is in Long Island, or you can buy them on their website. And it is gignewyork.com, G-I-G-I New York.com. Again, I'm not getting paid by them, I'm just, I'm blown away by these bags. And they are so beautiful. I hope that you have enjoyed seeing the quality of these bags and watching this unboxing video. And if you would like to know anything else about what I do in this channel or anything that I've talked about today, please let me know in the comments. And thanks for watching and as always, I will see you next time.